It started 300 million years ago, when the Durance Fault was like a huge crack on the surface of the Earth. During the tertiary, the fault played a role in the formation of the Alps by constituting a limit between the upper eastern zone and a basin where sediment accumulated. Then the sea returned, depositing sand and pebbles. Other layers of sandstone and clay were added before the great glaciers of the Quaternary transformed the landscape. Much later, when the Durance was etching out its course, it had to respect a large conglomerate of bonded pebbles, where we find them made today. The streaming waters concentrated in the narrow gorges, where erosion is the most efficient. These strange shapes haunt the little town of May. They're called the Penitents of May, for as local legend has it. At the time of the Saracen invasion, a young knight had as his mission to escort seven beautiful Moorish maidens who were prisoners via the river to the city of Arles. Along the way, they met some monks who became quite stirred up at the sight of the young women. The local saint, a hermit, saw what was going to happen and, to preserve the monks from sin, petrified them, frocks and all, and there they have stood till this very day. The village elders of Buren in Ireland also enjoy telling legends. One must admit, that the remarkable scenery in the region is quite apt to inspire all sorts of tales. In Gaelic, Burren means rocky place, and this land is built on rock indeed. Situated in the northeast of Clare County, this craggy, arid 250 square kilometer plateau rises into cliffs or slopes gently down to the sea. The origin of this geological phenomenon dates back to the Carboniferous Age, 340 million years ago. The ocean once covered this whole area. Leftover vegetal debris, animal skeletons, and alluvial mud deposits brought by rivers formed layers of sediment up to 700 meters thick. In 1649, during the English invasion of Ireland led by Cromwell, one of his commanding officers commented on this region. There's not enough land here to bury a man, not enough trees to hang him, not enough water to drown him. Which didn't stop them from brutally colonizing the area. The ground is streaked with more or less apparent grooves, giving it the appearance of being paved with flagstones. The cracks are between 15 and 60 centimeters wide and 2 to 6 centimeters deep. As for the slabs, they vary from a few centimeters to 50 square meters. The proximity of the Gulf Stream makes the climate extremely mild, allowing flowers to blossom in relays all year round. In the cracks and crevices, where the limestone retains heat, the vegetation is protected and flourishes. Gentian, many varieties of orchids, juniper, wild thyme, geraniums and ferns offer incredible diversity. The vegetation is much less varied here in Lapland, in northern Scandinavia. It's composed of forests and tundra. We're north of the 70th parallel, well inside the Arctic Circle. During the winter, nights can last several weeks, yet sunsets toward the end of spring are quite unique. 